What's up guys, this is Destiny Exclusive from MadSchool.com bringing you a quick tip on how you can use a different strategy for blitz pickups. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you a different way that you can use to trick a user who likes to blitz you into getting matchups you like to do while still protecting your offense uh, from giving up a quick sack. Now the tip here is basically when you have a tight end on the line of scrimmage uh, you want to block him instead of the running back because basically what you want to do is Defensive users like to user the guy who's manned up on the running back and the thought process here is if I if I user somebody who's on the running back and I blitz the person on the offense is gonna block their halfback and let everybody else go which then frees me up over the middle of the field to kind of roam and do whatever I want and still blitz so essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my tight end to block, I'm going to send my halfback out on a route, and then that way I have full confidence that I can pick up the blitz, and also uh, full confidence that I can create a matchup down the field with four people. So this is a good play to use it out of, this is called this is Gun Bunch Weak Corner Strike, and basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to block my tight end, and then I'm going to slide protect to the opposite direction. And then from there, you basically just use your audibles however you want to use them. So I have two man beating routes right now, actually three if you count the running back, but generally someone's going to use that free safety, bring him down into the box, and then assume the running back is going to block. So all you're going to do is you're just going to send the running back out on a route and you're going to force them to either go to the running back or stay in the middle of the field and do what they usually do, and then that allows you to do whatever you want to do. So here I make a bad read, no big deal. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing here, block the tight end, slide protect left, hike the ball again, and then I would do my actual progression, which is look for Steve Smith uh, against the cornerback for a touchdown. Easy completion, and you know it, it really just puts pressure on that defensive user. Like My first read here would be to look at the running back and see if that guy can even stick with the running back, because usually it's a linebacker, and if they're on a linebacker trying to cover a running back, it's not going to go very far. So as you can see here, you need a tight end that's on the line of scrimmage or in a different set that allows you to hot route and block him. Uh, you can see I'm going to try two sets here, and neither of these sets you can block the running back from. So then I'm going to uh, basically I'm going to audible to a set that allows me to block my tight end here. I'm going to go to four verts, and this halfback, this check and release route is a is a route that I like because it gives that running back the little speed boost route. Which if you're a defensive user you're not really going to cover that route, especially if you're in man coverage. But what you're going to see here in the video is that for some reason, even though he's checking the cornerback or the safety out there and releasing if they're not blitzing, he just doesn't release. He doesn't block anybody. He also doesn't release. So he just kind of stands in the backfield. And then I'm just sitting here waiting for him to release because he's supposed to go out, but nothing happens. So the thought process on here is that if I put him on a check and release route and the uh, defensive user is not over him or is, is manned up against him and doesn't rush which you know most of the time people won't then he'll sneak out of the backfield while the defensive user chases my routes down the field for a very easy pickup and so I'm gonna use a different play this time that actually gets the running back out on a route so you can see here I'm just gonna send him out on the table route which is a very effective route to uh, get him into the flats and I'm also gonna have my man beating route in the slot so I'm going to block my tight end, I'm going to slide protect left, which will give me complete pass protection, and then I'm just going to do a quick throw to the flats to Kamar Aiken. And so that is basically the uh, the tip right there. So if you want a, a different way to block blitzes, keep your defensive user guessing, block your tight end, send your running back on routes, and then use your man beating routes effectively otherwise. So I hope you guys enjoy this tip. I'm SNA Exclusive.